Yep. Okay, so we are uh, Renaissance Workshops at Dream Space in Gisborne, New Zealand, and we're in the four phase room for meetings and creativity with the round table, which is my four phase table, which is love and listening, new ideas, critique and planning, and action and uh, to do lists. So, very simple but effective way of getting creativity and solving problems. So we're here with on the green new ideas table showing you one new idea which is, just shows how revolutionary just thinking and being open can be. <clears throat> we, we had the lockdown in New Zealand a few months ago and I was thinking how do you make durable uh, straps for that don't break and perish like these ones uh, for masks. And uh, I thought about it a little bit and just sort of dreamt of it and, and, and pondered on it. And I thought, ah, silicone would be good. Could you extrude it? Yes, why not? Make a hole in the tube. So this is ordinary tube. It costs about 7 or $8, I think, New Zealand. Uh, this is black, which <clears throat> unfortunately been there for too long. It didn't work. This clear, I used black for, obviously, for this one. Uh, it's great for, you know, you can hang things like this, boing. Um, and uh, so, all I did was I extruded it into a bar barrel of water, but I thought I'd make it simpler and do it in, a, in a, just a bucket. So this is all you need to extrude silicone, and a little bit of patience to let it dry. Um, within about 24 hours, you can pick it out and, and, and wrap it, but it, to cure, it takes a few weeks, really, to be the strongest. So what I'm doing is I've drilled a hole using just a 2.5 mil thing. So we've got 2.5 mil uh, extrusion, but you could do any size really with, within reason. Um, but it is water or air cure. So what it's doing now is is extruding. Get a close up of that. Uh, now, believe it or not, it can touch, but not, but not actually stick to itself. Especially since I put detergent in the water, which, uh, oops, yeah, you don't want it. If it breaks, uh, if there's a break in the um, extrusion, it just means that you've got a, uh, yeah, a short length, but normally you wouldn't want very long lengths anyway. So we're extruding away, and I worked out it's, it's 13 cents, 13 cents per meter. Uh, at eight dollars a tube, so it's pretty cheap. So you'd get about two two of these. That'd so be about six cents per per mass. So that extrusion will just sit there overnight, uh, or you could leave it there to cure for ages. So that's it. You've got I don't know. I've done a few meters there, and um, it's as simple as that. So my daughter Xanthi is in the front room, and she's been making masks and. Uh, just out of interest, geez, this is my input information um, whiteboard, and so that's the natural place to put all things for input. So at sewingco.nz is her Facebook or something. Uh, it's a one of those new ones, and uh, she's she can send around the the, the world and has done. Um, so we have. Uh, basically, a very cool idea, and I was going to do a teaser for what I'm going to do next. I'm going to do videos, so please like this channel and subscribe, uh, and I will be doing some more exciting things. So, one thing is uh, how how to make um, uh, silicone silicone molds uh, and to cast in uh, pewter, which is really cool. So I should show the ring, shouldn't I? The ring, the ring, the rings here. So I just recently made, I uh, just last week made a mold for that, the original in wax, made a mold in silicone and cast the first pewter in the same day, just like half a day really. So that's quite a heavy ring and um, you can make anything in pewter really and it's only it's lead free it's mostly tin yeah so we're about 
finish more next time. Over.